So this is the beginning stages of our research and development on Nikola Tesla's balancing machine. Um, we've got the whole apparatus basically here. There are some more modifications that we'll be making in the future, but this is what we're starting with. It's a good idea to have sensitive air control for precise RPM. The RPM is controlled with a jet of compressed air. The reason we have supported the bearings with springs is to allow the rotor to vibrate while it's rotated. This allows the rotor's heavy side to migrate away from the center of mass so that it can be ground. In this next clip we will show this. So here we show the heavy side always moves to the bottom. And this is actually just a static balance. There's also dynamic balance issues, but we'll talk about those in a minute. Notice that we ground a little notch, and that's the light side, so that's why it's pointing mostly up. The reason it's vibrating so vigorously is because it's yieldably supported, which means that the bearings can move. Because the bearings can move, it allows the heavy side to move furthest away from the center. And again, this is what Tesla did to balance his rotors. He used some kind of abrasive material to, to grind off the heavy side, and we'll show that here in a second. It took a, quite a bit of experimentation and playing with the system to get it to work just right, but now, or, but we eventually figured it out and uh, it works really good. So here it is in operation and some examples of how bad it started off. It was really unbalanced to begin with. Slowly but surely, it, be it became more and more balanced, and you'll see that here in a second. So remember to use safety glasses if you want to replicate this and keep your hands away from the uh, Dremel because uh, we we show you why at the end we've got a blooper for you. Also depending on the material make sure you don't get the RPMs up too high. Um, we've experienced Lexan exploding at 40,000 RPM uh, on a 4 inch rotor so you probably don't want to go over 25,000 with Lexan unless you have some kind of a shielding um, and if you're using of course wood you don't want to go anywhere near that speed So you can see the dynamic balance issue now. It's a little bit different than the static balance issue. But if you just grind down where you need to, slowly but surely you will uh, achieve a dynamic balance. A very good dynamic balance at that.